What's up guys, Max here and welcome back to my dungeon. Today I have two very interesting components for you to show you that uh, Kingston sent us and I thank Kingston for that. So we are talking about uh, a DDR5 kit, the uh, Fury Renegade and the NVMe Renegade again Fury. And we have uh, this kit that is a 6000 MTs, uh, very nice kit with Hynix chip, uh, RGB, and uh, this uh, is a Gen 4 NVMe that is stated that it can do 7000 in read and write. And we are going to test uh, both uh, with this uh, Asus uh, TUF uh, B650 with a Ryzen 7700X. Uh, and the reason why is because we have a good bandwidth in the, in the motherboard, so we can test the NVMe uh, very nicely because, you know, we have to test if the speed is as we rated or not. But I've talked enough. So let's get started and get straight to the point. All right, let's start uh, with uh, the disk, uh, the NVMe. In this case, we have uh, four terabyte uh, and uh, is a Gen 4 uh, that is really, really fast. As you can see here, uh, we are uh, in this case uh, from the read uh, above uh, the stated uh, 7000 and across all the benchmark, uh, the results were stunning because uh, this is really, really fast uh, in every side of the benchmark. So. Uh, for the performance uh, is more than advertised uh, and it's really, uh, really uh, nice uh, made, plenty of space uh, and of course stunning performance uh, if you do something like uh, I do, like video editing or stuff that you need uh, this amazing speed that is way overkill for every gamer or a casual user of the PC. But still, if you want something that will last for years, well, this is one. Uh, regarding the temperature, during the test that I did uh, five, six times, so I did a lot of tests uh, in sequence, and the maximum that I reached was 66 degrees. Uh, I'm using the uh, motherboard uh, heatsink that is not uh, so big, but I suggest you to use a heatsink, in this case, uh, the one from the motherboard, or if you don't have one, uh, to buy an aftermarket uh, NVMe cooler because uh, there's a lot of chip uh, in this uh, NVMe and uh, it makes uh, heat. So with a decent uh, heat sink you can keep it at the 66 degrees that I did stress test but if you do rendering or something that uh, use a lot of uh, uh, disk uh, like video editing stuff like that uh, it may get hot and you may lose performance but well you have plenty of performance but as a general advice keep uh, your chip cold. So now talking about the memory, as you can see here is a Hynix. So now the every kit the DDR5 that is Hynix is actually the best uh, chip you can find in a memory kit. So this is, uh, let's say top tier Hynix. I uh, loaded the 6.2 profile from the motherboard that we, is all manual tuning. And it's nice because it's 1.4 volts and all timings in manual that are pretty tight. So very, very nice, is stable. The only one point that, uh, as I mentioned many times, DDR5 gets hot. So now I don't have any fun or any cooling on the memory and we have 65 degrees that, in my opinion, everything above 50 on the memory is risky to have random crashes or uh, uh, instability. So my suggestion is that if you do Ochi the memory, just put a fan somewhere in the case that throw some air to the memory or use a, a water block for the memory like the alpha cool that uh, in the next days I'm going to review that is very very important important to keep your memory cool because especially if you have a big GPU that is pushing hot air through the memory well you may have instability in gaming or if you work with the PC you have instability during the work so is really not uh, a good thing to have the memory much above 50 degrees, even though 
I find this uh, kit uh, uh, very stable, even at what I consider high temperature. But again, so keep every chip you have in the PC cool. This is the NVMe, memory, CPU, keep everything cool and you will be happy. So yeah, this is a top tier uh, Hynix uh, kit uh, and well, well made as well, because uh, as you have seen, uh, it's also very good looking. All right, so in conclusion, well, for me, it's really easy to make this review because they give me uh, very nice components. So for the memory, we have Hynix chip. Uh, they are fast. Uh, even at X XMP, they are nice. Uh, then they can support uh, a manual profile, a full manual profile with a bit of overclock. Uh, the head spread is, uh, is OK. So if you're going to game with this memory overclocked, you probably won't need uh, even a fan, but my advice is to keep the chip cool and at least make sure that your GPU doesn't hit too much the memory. But as for the quality of the memory, they are great. And as well for the NVMe, it's big, it's fast, it's nice looking. So again, uh, this is a really nice NVMe drive, uh, even if you do like workstation, uh, workload or, or stuff like that, like video editing. So you have plenty of power, plenty of space. Uh, it's cool enough. So again, both uh, are really nice components. If you are planning to buy one of the two or two for your next build, I will highly recommend uh, this uh, model and uh, specification. So yeah, this is absolutely um, a good buy. And well, again, for today is everything. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.